always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Yeah, it should be a nice evening at Festival, and uh, not a bad evening elsewhere as well. This is a live picture from over at South Haven. The lake very calm again out there. They see some dark clouds, but they're really not much coming out of them outside of just a few sprinkles, and that's, I think, all we'll see here during the evening, and that'll be mainly south of Grand Rapids. We have a chance of showers later on tonight, especially in areas north of Grand Rapids after midnight, and then showers and storms are a possibility here tomorrow, but they'll be pretty widely scattered. Uh, showers and storms on Monday, and then dry weather expected on Tuesday. So if you're looking for a time to get outside, pick Tuesday. That should be a pretty good day. Here's the sprinkles coming in off the lake, and you can see they're actually kind of trying to fall apart a little bit as they enter the drier air over Michigan. So I wouldn't worry about dragging the umbrella around here this evening. I think for the most part, uh, south of Grand Rapids may be a sprinkle for the early evening, and that would be about it. Uh, a little heavier batch of rain off to of the west of us is moving due east, and like I said, that should start to move in here late tonight, mainly in areas off to of the north. Future cast shows that. There's the sprinkles out over Lake Michigan. As we get to late tonight, there'll be a few of these showers, and again, not much goes on south of Grand Rapids, but north of Grand Rapids later on tonight. We are at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and during the morning hours, some showers pass north of Grand Rapids. We get a break mid-afternoon, not much going on. Where the sun is out down to the south here, temperatures are going to get warm. It could approach 80 down here uh, along the Indiana border. Uh, during the afternoon, there'll be a scattering of uh, showers and thunder showers, but again, they'll be kind of few and far between, and that will be the case on Monday as well with a possibility of showers. And then in the afternoon, uh, some scattered showers and storms will be the rule here across the area. Uh, these are low temperatures tonight. You know, last night, the temperature in Cadillac was 32 degrees. It got down to freezing there last night. Grand Rapids stopped at 45. We'll be a little warmer at 54 here overnight tonight. High temperatures tomorrow. North of Grand Rapids will hold in the 60s, and there'll be a better chance for showers. But as you go south, it warms up. 70 for Grand Rapids, 74 in Allegan and Saugatuck tomorrow in Holland. And look at that down at the Indiana border. We got 81 for Niles and 80 at Sturgis, 77 tomorrow in Kalamazoo. Waves the lake should be running around a foot. Could be a shower out there, but uh, they'll be well, widely scattered. Temperatures low to mid 70s for the most part, a little warmer off to the south. Pretty good bet for one shower or thunder shower here, especially during the day on Monday, but again, they'll be pretty widely scattered. Uh, showers a possibility late Wednesday, but most of Wednesday should be dry. Next weekend looking good, mid 70s with some sunshine here. So, all in all, not a bad forecast to pass along. There will be that chance of a shower, though, tomorrow and Monday. All right. When are we going to see those 80 degree temps again? That's going to take a while. There could be 80, like I said, down toward the Indiana border, but uh, cool pattern continues into the middle part of the month. All right. We'll be standing by. Thanks, Bill.